everyone knows that Second World War was one of the most dramatic periods in human history, with battles in Europe, Africa and Asia, from 1939 to 1945. However, few people know that Brazil was also attacked, with hundreds of fatal victims. Since the beginning of the conflict, Brazil has remained neutral, at the insistence of President Getulio Vargas. But through pressure from the United States of America, Brazil severed diplomatic relations with the Axis countries. Despite this, President Vargas refused to enter the war. Everything would change between August 15 and 16, 1942, when the German submarine U-507 cowardly torpedoed and sank the Brazilian merchant ships by Pendi, Araquara, and Enibol Benevolo, between Bahia and Sergipe, causing more than 550 deaths. The next morning, hundreds of bodies of the shipwrecked were arriving on Sergipe beaches. Now it was inevitable, Brazilian territory had been attacked. Through a great popular commotion and massive press coverage, President Vargas had to declare war on Germany. This affected the outcome of the war, as Brazil became a valuable base in the South Atlantic, and Brazilian resources began to supply the Allied armies. Without the support of Brazil, the outcome of the war could have been different. But about the night that made Brazil enter the Great War, which truly changed the course of history, little is known. In search of answers to this great mystery, a group of underwater archaeologists, historians, oceanographers, navigators, and filmmakers came together to research the underwater secrets of the Second World War. With the support of the Federal Public Ministry of Sergipe, the project began at sea with geophysical surveys. Guided by historian and archaeologist Roberta Rosa, and by underwater archaeologist Gilson Rambelli, from the Laboratory of Archaeology of Aquatic Environments at the Federal University of Sergipe, the searches began. The objective of oceanographer Jonas Santos, and navigator Alexander Maya Caldera, was to find evidence of the wrecks that were sunk by the U-507. After an exhaustive search for an extensive area of the coast, some potential targets were finally identified, which could be the shipwrecks of Bipendi and Hannibal Benevolo. The second phase of the project was then put underway. The team was joined by underwater archaeologist Luis Felipe Freire Danta Santos and documentary filmmakers and divers Vera and Yuri Sonata. With the geographic coordinates in hand, the team left Aracaju in the middle of winter, a time when the sea is very rough and diving conditions are not recommended. However, it was agreed that this dive was very important at this stage of the project, to identify the conditions in the area where the targets were found, and to allow the planning of the next phases of the research. After a few hours of sailing in bad sea conditions, they reached the area of one of the possible targets. Felipe and Yuri started the descent, and at 27 meters deep they found very pleasant conditions. They performed standard searches in the short time allowed at this depth. This is an underexplored region, as without commercial projects being carried out there, perhaps only fishermen have visited the area. To the surprise of the divers, the place turned out to be of impressive beauty and richness, with little current, abundant marine life, and therefore with great potential for underwater tourism. Unfortunately, on the surface, the atmospheric conditions deteriorated, which meant that the operation could not continue. The third stage of the research, with new soundings in search of more precise positioning of the wrecks, is in planning, which will be followed by dives to identify the targets. This will be done in the summer, when sea conditions should be much more pleasant. Another aspect of this project, that is also very important, 
is that it was only possible through the partnership established between the public authorities, research institutions, and the private sector. Follow the new stages of the project that will bring out the details of this little-known episode in Brazilian history, which put Brazil in the Second World War and changed the course of human history.